Betaflight 280 introduced a new way of handling the rates of the copter uh, called Super Expo. Uh, and here I've got a copter with Betaflight 290, which also has Super Expo. And I've entered in my old 271 rates. And, and I'm going to talk in this video about translating your rates from the old style 271 and before to the new style Super Expo rates and some options you have for that. Now certainly one option that you have, and I did verify this with Boris before I put it in this video, is if you leave Super Expo rates off, you can just copy your numbers over from your previous uh, setup and everything should be identical. But if you're going to go to a new version of Betaflight, it's certainly worth giving Super Expo rates a try. Uh, it's a new feature. A lot of people really seem to like it, uh, and maybe you will too. So what you can do in order to not be just completely retuning your rates from scratch is this. Download the Betaflight rates spreadsheet from the wiki. Uh, I'll put a link down in the description. And I've entered in here my old numbers from Betaflight 271. RC rate, pitch roll rate, RC expo, and a dead band, but of course dead band is not going to really matter for this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the rate that I'm getting at 1250, which is roughly half stick deflection. And I can see that is 223 degrees per second. And I'm going to look at the full deflection rate, which is 970 degrees per second. And then what I'm going to do is I'm first I'm going to turn off RC Expo. Boris says that when you're tuning Super Expo, just leave RC Expo off. You shouldn't need it. You're only going to tune based on RC rate and rate. And I'm going to tweak these values to try to achieve over here on the left side the exact same 223 and 970 degrees per second that I had before. And that should give me a pretty similar curve to what I had before, but with the new quote unquote Super Expo feel. And that'll let you tell if there's sort of any difference in the smoothness of the stick response without having to do anything radical with the rates. So let's give that a try. So right now at 1250, I'm at 210 degrees per second. That's actually really close to what I had before. Let's see what happens if I go to 140. 219, pretty close. There you go, 223 degrees per second, exactly. And then let's look at my endpoint, 862. So now I'm going to raise my rate sum. Let's take it to 70. Uh, 1005. Pretty extreme. 887, 973. So that's pretty close as well. And let's just go back and check and see if I'm still pretty close here. 230 and 970. So I can keep tweaking that a little bit at a time to get closer and closer. There you go. 223, 946. 977 and 225. Okay, I think that's about as close as I'm going to get. All right, so that's my Super Expo rates, which should pretty closely match what I've got in Betaflight 271. If I put in 13970 and 0 RC Expo with Super Expo rates enabled, enable, save, 139 and 70 and 70. And then zero RC Expo, none at all. All right. The other thing we need to do is tune yaw, and I'm afraid that yaw is going to have to be tuned completely from scratch because it's been rescaled, uh, and so there's just no way around that. So you're going to have to retune yaw by feel and and from scratch. Sorry, tough luck. But this should at least get you on some good footing to start experimenting with Super Expo uh, if you're transitioning from 271 to 290 without just having to completely do everything from scratch. Boris has said that one of the real advantages of Super Expo is that you can tweak this rate parameter to adjust your maximum degrees per second without affecting your mid stick feel too much. So after you've confirmed that this sort of feels how you want it to feel or how you expected it to feel. The next thing you might try doing is changing the rate value to get faster flips and rolls, but leaving the RC rate alone to keep the mid stick feel the same. And the other thing you could do is, of course, you can go back and forth between Super Expo and the equivalent 
271 style rates using RC Rate Rate and Expo to see if there's a difference in feel between them. Well, I hope this has been interesting. That's all for now. Happy flying.